All right, today I just want to announce I pick up a CRT TV today. Pretty excited to uh, see how it turned out. Um, uh, pretty much I found it on Facebook, uh, Facebook Market. All right, so here's the TV right here. Really big. As you can see, my coffee table right there is quite small compared to the TV. Anyway, I turn it to the side so we can go look at the uh, the rear I.O., the, all the component stuff from behind. But let's let's take a closer look. Look like um, it's like a curb TV. Doesn't seem to have any scratches. It came like this. There was a controller. Let me see if I can find a controller. So, this is the controller that the king with it. Um, looks pretty good. I don't know if it's gonna work yet, but we'll test it out in a bit. But yeah, um, it's I believe it's a Hitachi Ultra Vision. Got some button down here. Yeah, it's a little dark right now, so I gotta put some um, recording with the light on. And there, it's a good speaker here. So let's go ahead and check out the rear I.O. Oh, in case you guys didn't see it, the brands right here. Hitachi, Hitachi. So let's go ahead and take a look what's behind. Um, here's the model number right here. Yeah, I tried to look online, but I couldn't find information about this TV, but it's really big. Um, there is like a handle right here to put your hand under to carry it. As you can see, there's some mark here. Probably in the past, somebody had a hard time. Yeah, um, me and my brother brought this up the stair to my house. It was really, really difficult. So, anyway, uh, so it looked like we have... Antenna B, antenna A, we got two converter. We got some uh, AV output here. Let me move this. So right now it's connected to my Sega Dreamcast. We'll be testing that and maybe my Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. See how that turn out. So it does have three output for AV. That's pretty good. Um, and then there's an audio here. And then S video, which is really cool. Um, I'm actually want to try that on my Xbox. So, let's find out. See how it is. Okay, so as you can see, the CRT is right here. Uh, let's see. You can see the CRT. This is the area where there's a waterfall where people usually complain that there's like a rainbow. There's like a rainbow line. So let's find out if there is. <laughs> So as you can see, I don't see any rainbow line, but the picture looks pretty clear, um, pretty good so far. The speed limit is definitely better than playing on the HD. I, I definitely don't feel any lag. So far, so good. Oh my god, I didn't pay attention. Oh, my button's not working too well. This controller right here is it's just horrible. It's a three button. I have a six button, but I forgot to uh, get it. Oh my god. Alright, we beat him. Yeah, that uh, turned out pretty well. And let me take you guys to over here. Let's take a look at my uh, recording on my HD TV. So on the CRT looks really good. But I have my uh, HD TV right over here. As you can see, it's it's just different. You know, it doesn't compare to the CRT. So it's pretty good though, I mean still, but the CRT is just the way how we originally played it. Looks really good. Just look at it. It's, the sounds are great. Yeah, I need to record during the day. It'll be much better, but it's nighttime. But yeah, uh, let me guys, let me know what you guys think.
All right, so this time uh, we're gonna be checking out Panton Dust, a pretty cool game. So Xbox is uh, having trouble. There we go. So as you can see, I have my S video. I had a monster cable here. My S video connected to the TV. Let's take a look from behind. You can see my quality monster cable S video connected to the TV. So let's take a look and see how good it is. All right, let's test out some of the gameplay. All right, let's get to the gameplay. Capture, okay, blue castle contain defensive technique, okay. We got laser, we got venom slash, slash barrier, that's a defense move, it's really cool. So let's see if we can find some enemy. Good jump. Laser. Oh, okay, I'm always going the wrong way the whole time. I wonder if you can run. I guess there isn't a run. There's no run button. Nope, I walk on. I can't hit him for whatever reason. Still flat there. One more enemy, where they're at. Well yeah, overall it's really good. Looks really clear, nice and crispy. Uh, rock and slide, okay, let's put it on. So that's three. Where's the enemy at? go okay I got him there you go took a little while a little rusty but yeah overall really really good really happy with the S video on my big CRT TV all right let's test out some Dreamcast game all right so here we got Aqua GT on the Sega Dreamcast so let's go ahead and uh, try it out looks really nice you could play this in other platform too but I could be wrong it might be on exclusive to the Dreamcast but I'm sure maybe you could play on PC nowadays but yeah it's uh it looks really good the sounds are good keep gearing down so now I need to be faster I haven't beat anybody yet I gotta play the analog be a lot better oh my bad
that looks great. Uh, sounds good. Quality is pretty good, even though it's only composite. All the, uh, I believe the only SVU I have was for the Xbox. It looks really good on the Xbox, but whether it's on the Genesis or the Dreamcast, even though it's composite only, it still looks really good, sounds really good. Yeah, I'm really bad at this game, but overall, it's really good.